Good evening. Welcome to the Tempe Union High School District 2020 graduation. Your TUHSD governing board is so very proud of you. We understand that the current situation is very different than the end of year celebration you were envisioning. These are unusual times to say the least, but Tempe Union High School District community supports one another during good times and bad, ensuring that we always remain Tempe Union High School District strong. During this unprecedented time, we want you to know that we celebrate with you and your families, your accomplishments, your achievements, and your dreams. Again, congratulations to our class of 2020. We wish you the very best with your future plans. And remember, once a Charger, always a Charger. Good evening. My name is Sachi Sangupta, this year's senior class president. And I'm Isabel Warner, this year's student body president. We'd like to welcome you to this year's commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. Tonight, Chargers, we gather virtually one last time as peers, as classmates, and as friends. To the families and friends who have joined us, please help us celebrate this milestone in our lives as we reflect on our accomplishments and look forward to our futures. To deliver this evening's introduction, it is our pleasure to introduce the principal of McClintock High School, Ms. Mayra Arroyo. Good evening, students, parents, colleagues, and guests. Thank you for joining me tonight in what is truly a remarkable time. Our students are the 55th graduating class of McClintock High School. And while we have celebrated many of their firsts, I think I can safely say, we never anticipated being the first class to hold a virtual celebration of our students' academic accomplishments as a class of 2020 graduate. Remarkable times call for remarkable people. And this is a celebration of remarkable teachers and families who have been here for every up and every down to help these remarkable young men and women make it to this day. It is a privilege to lead McClintock, and I am honored to be part of this very special ceremony. We are here to recognize and honor the students of McClintock High School. I'm sure you will agree with me when I say this is a very special class and one tough group of students. In the face of this global pandemic, you stayed focused, continued to work hard, and achieved your goals. This pandemic has challenged us in ways we could not have imagined. But I have no doubt that the class of 2020, with their resilience, their brilliance, and their compassion, will help lead us to a remarkable future. This is also a very special class to me, because you are the class I entered with. We were all freshmen at McClintock in 2016. In a sense, you are truly my first graduating class and will always hold a special place in my heart. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention another important reason this class is extra special to me. My own son, Francisco Arroyo, is graduating among you. I am a proud parent of a graduate and am so proud of who he is and what he has accomplished and recognize it is because he is among you. Class of 2020, you are the class that made history. You can also be remembered as the senior class ditch day champions. But before you leave us, let me take some time to share some great news about who you are, class of 2020. Our PPA valedictorians, Bellany Zhang and Amelie Land for McClintock. Salutatorians, Myrie Merchant, Mariana Bogart from PPA, and Yara Osman from McClintock. We have Francisco Arroyo, Zachary Axtell, Zachary Gibson, Sean Guinea, and Isis Holmes graduating not only with their high school diploma, but with their associate's degrees from Rio Salado. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. Several students were awarded athletic scholarships, with Davion Center getting a full ride to Jackson State for shot put. 15 students are receiving a seal of biliteracy on their diplomas. 23 students are receiving the seal for the arts. Altogether, Chargers, you have been awarded over $5 million in scholarships. 41% of you are going to a four-year college or university. 29% are attending a community college. 7% are entering the workforce. 4% are attending a technical vocational school. 2% are entering the military. And 17% of you are still undecided, and that's okay. Great job, Chargers. Graduation is a time to celebrate your accomplishments, but also know that this could not have been made possible without the support of two very important groups of people. 
The first group are your first teachers, your parents. They've pushed, they've applauded, laughed, and cried with you when necessary. Especially you, class of 2020. I recognize this has been hard for you, but I hope you recognize, and I say this as a parent, we suffered just as much as you did. Take a moment now to thank your parents for their continuous support and for instilling the values that have shaped you into who you are today. And remember to thank them every chance you get and continue to make them proud. The second group is your teachers. Your teachers always believed in you. Thank you for the countless hours before school, during lunch, and after school, for the commitment and dedication you've had in helping create better people and a better society. The most exciting part, class of 2020, is that you are entering an amazing new stage of life. Many of you are at the beginning of your adult life, on the brink of whatever career path or academic paths you will take, and I know you are about to do some remarkable things. So, as you prepare for that journey, I want to take a few minutes to share some words of advice, three things that I hope you will truly consider as you continue on your life's learning journey. One. Always be the best person you can be. Be humble, give back, be kind when you're tired, be understanding even when you're angry, learn from your mistakes, be proud of who you are and where you come from, and always stand tall. Two, be persistent in your passions. Don't quit when the going gets tough. Being persistent also means you have to be bad before you're good. They go hand in hand. It's like a baby learning to walk. The baby has to be bad at walking, falling down and getting up before he or she is any good at it. But we don't call it being bad, we call it learning to walk. So be persistent in all of your endeavors. And three, be happy. Choose to be happy. Be the person that walks into the room and sees the flower in the vase before noticing the dust on the table. When you can't find sunshine, be the sunshine. Choose positivity and don't let anyone take that away from you. Live a life you're excited about. And basically what I want to say today is this. Chargers, be you. Be different. Dream big. Work hard. Stay focused. And surround yourself with good people. Have your priorities straight. You're an awesome group. It has been my privilege to be your principal. And I congratulate you. You are about to shape a remarkable future, and I wish you the best wherever you and your life takes you. And remember, once a charger, always a charger. Our valedictorian was involved in National Honor Society, French Club, and Fellowship of Christian Athletes. She will be attending Arizona State University in the fall. Welcome, Amelie Land. Good evening, parents and families, teachers and administrators, and most importantly, graduates. Before I begin, I would like to give background to how I and others have ended up here today. Three years ago, I was interested in attending my neighborhood high school with my friends, but because my brother was a charger and enjoyed what MHS had to offer, I chose to leave my friends and come to be a charger as well. As for others, they came to McClintock in hopes of a fresh beginning and new chapter. They were seeking a place where everyone had an opportunity to grow and a place to be accepted for who they are. Similarly, a handful came to McClintock as they wanted to receive an outstanding education with college level classes taught by highly experienced teachers. Speaking on behalf of the class of 2020, we all have come to McClintock, whether as freshmen or later for various reasons. MHS has been a home for many, but we are leaving with more than what we ever thought imaginable. Every day at this school, we were surrounded by hundreds of professionals who poured their time and lives into the success and development of you and me. For those of you who have ever taken a class with a teacher who pushes for growth, you know, and I mean know, the amount of content that is given and expected to be retained. Whether it's learning the difference in striations between external and internal obliques, to the location of the gastronemius, all students who enter a class with a teacher like this are held to the same standard, and no one is given the easy way out. One could say that asking this much from young adults is harsh, but after speaking with classmates, we all have come to one conclusion. These types of teachers see capability for each student to flourish. 
Being in a class like this teaches you that prosperity does not come from not completing work. Prosperity comes from drive, work ethic, and learning to give effort even when the world seems to be more than one can handle. A few doors down, Madame Land, aka my mom, has been teaching French for over 20 years in room 1205. Firsthand, I can say, while my mom spends hours upon hours outside of school creating engaging content so her students develop a passion for France like hers, her number one goal while teaching is for those in her class to discover that people may speak different languages and have different customs, but at the end of the day, we are all the same. Everyone wants to feel loved, and she hopes any student who has entered her classroom has left each day feeling loved by her. While all staff members have shaped a student in one way or another, I would like to finish giving thanks by talking about coaches around the school. We all have had or seen that one coach who pushes their athletes to the max, sometimes causing them to cry or vomit in order to finish a practice, but they do this for one reason. There will be times in the course of your life where your mind takes over and says you cannot do it. The mountain is too high, everybody hates me, I'm not strong enough. The list goes on and on. That is where you choose to take control, turn the can'ts into cans and grow mentally tougher. It is evident that over the past four years, lessons have been taught and lives have been changed. But what now? Should we leave here tonight and let this be the end of growth and learning? I have one question for everyone here today. What does it mean to live? If referring to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, one would say having life or existing in fact or reality, but is that truly how we should go about our everyday life? I am in no way saying that definitions are incorrect and useless, but I'm asking you to choose to use the words to live outside of physical terms and instead with spiritual and emotional force. In order to live in spiritual terms, one must know how. First and foremost, learn to live in the moment. Each day we are given 24 hours and we have the ability to decide how we want to let them pass. Should we wake up every day counting down until bedtime? Should we dread going to work and counting down until retirement? Should we go to school but not take in the information or the people we are surrounded by? Should we miss out on opportunities and experiences because we are worrying about taking an Instagram-worthy picture? Even on days when you are mentally exhausted, choose to soak in the moments. Remember the good times when you were so tired, but you still chose to live a life with joy and a life where you found beauty and things happening around you. In a world where technology is in all aspects, it can feel like we must document anything and everything that occurs. But I urge you to put the phone down turn the camera off, and just be. Some of the best moments in life are the one that cannot be shared on social media, but can only be expressed through words. Go into society soaking in and truly being present wherever you are with whatever is happening. Next, learn to live a life full of passion, or as my dad would say, hunger. Graduating high school is indeed an accomplishment, but do not make this the peak of your life. All of us have different goals and dreams. If you are joining the military, be the hardest worker in your branch that there is. If you want to be a stay-at-home mom or dad, strive to give your kids the life they deserve, full of love and opportunities. If you want to be a politician, continuously make a difference and move up in the political world while never losing sight of your values. Find your passion or enthusiasm for something and do not let it go away. Hold on to the spark and always keep the burning fire in your life alive because that will bring value. Finally, I ask you, learn to live a life with faith over fear. I wish I could stand here and say that the rest of your life will be a straight and narrow path with no bumps in the roads, but I would be lying. The world is full of sickness, war, natural disasters, financial instability, and much more. But these unexpected tragedies do not define you. How you handle these moments do. Accept the uncertainty, accept the difficulties, accept the changes. Let the fear of what may happen go away and take hold of faith. Find the anchor in your life, a parent, friend, preacher, or mentor. There is always a tomorrow, so do not give up. While you may not know it right now, you are always in the hands of someone who loves and will protect you. So hold on and continue to choose life. At the end of your physical life, how do you want to be remembered? 
As a person who dreaded each day with a lack of passion, scared of what was to come, or as someone who put up with trials and let their goals in life keep them moving forward while living in the moment. Well, class of 2020, thanks for tuning in and creating some of the best moments with me. That's all I have for you, Chargers. Your quote of the day is, once a Charger, always a Charger. Superintendent Dr. Kevin Mendeville and Governing Board President Burdetta Hodge, I, Mayra Barahona Arroyo, Principal of McClintock High School, certify that these graduates before you who are receiving their diplomas this evening have earned the credits and have completed all requirements as outlined by the State of Arizona and the Tempe Union High School District. At this time, I present the graduating class of 2020. Nabil Ubidi. Melanie Diana Acuna Reyes. Benjamin Heinrich Edelberg. Kristen Jaden Talia Adkins. Brian Aguilar. Lucero Adriana Aguilar Tharco. Noor Ghassan Ahmed Badwan. Faduma Jama Ahmed. Eli Jahim Alvarado. Melissa Alvarado. Mario Andres Alvarez. Michael Anthony Alvarez. Devin Andrew Ament. Macy Christine Anderson. Angelo Carl Villanes Antonor. Jason Guadalupe Armenta Gallardo. Francisco Javier Arroyo. Aaron Estudio Ambriz. Zachary James Axton. David Ayala. Evelyn Ayala. Amber Denise Ayon. Aisha Ba. Freddie James Baker. Rosanna Wayne Dinyazi Banks. Adam Barakat. Amir Atef Badi Barber. Katie Lauren Barrett. Isabel Sophia Bast. Tyler James Beach. Aspen Collage Beeman. Axel Guadalupe Becerra Hernandez. Elijah Andrew Bell. Jasmine Faye Belt. Anissa Raquel Beltran. Xavier Roberto Tello Benitez. Riley Christine Bentley. Mariska Piroska Bogard. Audrey Marilyn Bolanos. Brooke Ashley Borden. Joshua Dean Bounds. Jean Arthur Boyd. Jacob Scott Raymond Bradford. Joanne Shank Briner. Brianna Marie Brunson. Michael Demoya Buckner. Jose Leon Caleb Bueno. Tristan John Birchfield. Daniela Conrada Burgos Lopez. Veronica Madeline Burnett. Walden Zuriel Cabrera Santos. Francis Susana Caldwell. David Christian Carlos Kaperlek. Sabrina Marie Cruz Cardenas. Natani Shea Castillo. Jessica Castro Lopez. Davion DePaul Center. Pearl Alexis Valdenegro Cervantes. Daniel Alejandro Cervantes Uribe. Ravenna Isabel Cheek. Joseph Justin Chief. Sean Chowdhury. 
Alessandra Maria Soleil. David Trinidad Cisneros. Charles Ashton Clark. Sage Rose Cody. Armand Malik Collins. Tatiana D. Collins. Michael Dylan Colville. Michaela Ashlyn Corker. Carlos Bismarck Corrales. Stephanie Correa. Blaine Anthony Cortez Martinez. Cougar Ryan Crater. Aiden Michael Crane. Gabriela Hope Cruz. Natalia Elizabeth Cruz. Sydney Elizabeth Cruz. Ryan Alexis Cruz Romero. Michelle Lee Curtis. Kirian Kashan Dates. Aliyah Lashan Davis. Alejandra Maribel De Jaro Felix. Mark Anthony De La Cruz. Antonio Jacob Del Rio. Jan Delgado Ramirez. Kayo Bora Risha Dengi. Connie Lorraine Davenport. Faith Roselia Diaz. Giselle Diaz Giles. Yara Candia Dominguez. Nolan Patrick Dosh. Logan Travis Dicey. Kirsten Marie Early. Allah Esam Mamon El Tahir. Ryan James Emerson. Maximiliano Encinas. AJ Juan Enriquez. Nicolás Giovanni Escobedo. Sierra Gabriela Esquer. Marisa Estrella Esquer. Desha Reynek Uster. Keegan Joseph Fish Ewan. Isa A. Fra. David Felix. Jasmine Flor Monroy. Miranda Ofelia Flores. Gerardo Flores Hernandez. Talia Charlize Ford. Jair Armando Fragoso Olivas. Esteban Gabriel Frejo. Noah James Frey. Micah Love Fus. Ahmed Marwan Gamal Aldin. Isaías Nayar Garcia. Jenna Marie Garcia. Chance Elvis Garland. Lane Elise Geiger. Jack Devin Gibson. Zachary Edward Gibson. Joshua Alexander Gishi. Cassandra G. Gomez. Pedro Alberto Gomez. Larry Gonzalez. Maya Sochil Gonzalez. Nathan Elliot Gonzalez. Nadia Gisela Gonzalez Escobar. Gwendolyn Estelle Gotcha. Ivana Yvette Granillo. Amani Sunshine Denise Green. Cheyenne Winter Gunther. Sean Thompson Guinea. Adriana Gutierrez Sillas. Arcacia Latoya Hall. Sharin Halum. Priscilla Jantel Halsey. Kalei 
Alitasi Gage Harrington. Shukri Abdurrahman Harun. Logan Dale Hazlitt. Olivia Michelle Henderson. Carlos Jesus Hernandez. Noemi Evelyn Hernandez. Carlos Hernandez Ortiz. Xander Giancarlo Hill. Isis Nicole Holmes. Jeremy Jordan Huckabee. Ethan Jacob Humman. Jacob Aaron Imbari. Kyle Nicholas Jenajan. Matthew Joe Jensen. Megan Delaney Jimenez Velazquez. Arlara Nilla Johnson. Cassidy Michelle Johnson. John David Arnold Johnson. Natalie Jones. Musa Abdulfata Khalil. Garrett Paul Kerwin. Amelie Faith Land. Maxi Kasia Langris. Elijah Martin Lara. Samuel Alexander Leary. Spencer James Lee. Nicholas Avi Letcher. Kimberly Suzanne Linden. Gabrielle Sydney Lindsay. Angel Renee Lomeli. Serena Ariana Lopez. Wilfred Conrad Lopez. Pedro Alexander Lopez Castellum. Caleb Xavier Manigotes. Maya Cristina Marquez. Armando Martinez. Cesar Alejandro Martinez. Jana Mercedes Martinez. Xavier Michael Matos. Amber Lynn Akemi Matsusaki. Elizabeth Rain Mayo. Isaac Seamus McCann. Leonard Scott McGravin. Danny Mendez Trejo. Mayari Merchant. Alexander Dean Meredith. Luis Angel Monroy Amador. Ariana Elizabeth Montiel. Evelyn Montoya Pacheco. Trenton Graham Young Moore. Eric Morelos Miranda. Benjamin Moreno. Isaac Graylin Morgan. Curtis Scott Morgan. Emily Louise Mueller. Bryant Mario Vasquez. Devin Adam Murphy. Julia Susana Grace Myers. Ana Marisol Najera. Daniel I. Najera. Abigail Elizabeth Naranjo Dahlgren. Garrison Angus Nelson. Leah Meseret Nelson. Daisy Nevarez Nunez. Serenity Anisa Nez. Jesus Nunez Martinez. Itzel Olivares Hernandez. Jacob Brian Organic. Navaria Emily Ortiz. Monica Ortiz Gonzalez. Yara Osman. Caitlin Ann Osuna. Christopher Aaron Pacheco. Phoenix Renee J. Padilla. Marisa Cristina Palacios. 
Sarai Palma Reyes. Jasmine Adele Parkhurst. Mireya Guadalupe Partida Gastelum. Zoe Angelique Patricio. Sarah Elizabeth Patton. Grace Isabel Paul. Maxwell Dakota Pino Tabaki. Aiden Daniel Penry. Wendy Noemi Perez Flores. Jesus Manuel Perez Renteria. Carolina Perez Suarez. Caroline Agnes Peet. Jack Stephen Peterson. Luke Andrew Phillips. Nayeli Portillo Diaz. Nicholas Thomas Putro. Giancarlo Antonio R. Duran. Itzel Ramirez. Daisy Ramirez Rivera. Alexis Monique Ramos. Yasmin Rain Reed. Declan Oliver Rhodes. Jason Randall Troy Robinson. Dion A. Romero. Rufino Romero Lopez. Itza Damaris Romo. Diana Rosas Sabas. Jonathan Gregory Kelly Ross. Brandon Dylan Roth. Haley Leanne Rubalcaba. Brian Ruiz Olvera. Alexia Maria Salazar. Emiliano Salgado. Capriana Marie Sampson. Jesse Kenneth Sanchez. Jimmy Leah Sanders. Miranda Anais Sandifer. Carlos Jose Santillano. Ivan Santillano. Colton Jacob Saria. Ethan Thomas Schaefer. Senametsu Sapelo Segosibi. Sashi Sengupta. Anwar Yaia Tume Said. Maya Ann Sharp. Savannah Rose Scray. Ezequiel Anthony Solorzano. Luz Sosa Mercado. Montserrat Soto Cortez. Gracie Joanne Stewart. Theodore Samuel Stritch. James Daniel Suhovic. Jackson Paul Sutter. Jacob Matthew Sikora. Jonas Jonathan Tabling. Armela May Sabal Tanweco. Jenna Nicole Tank. Asia Eliza Tarioli. Lucila Caidada Tarioli. Bryce Hayes Tate. Jeffrey Andrew Teed. Jeffrey Allen Teague. William David Tietziat Ho. Corbin Wells Thielman. Sean Michael Tierney. Benjamin Ian Tirado. Eric Dennis Toledo Maloney. Nati A. Rain Tony. Jacqueline Marie Toro. Anthony Torres Sanchez. Yang Kim Tran. Brody Patton Travis. Jacob Anthony Trujillo. Jeremiah Tsotsi. Isaiah Alexander Tucker. Layla Marie Underwood. 
Anacelia Marcel Ureña. Lupita Valenzuela. Emily Victoria Vargas. Madison Tyler Vasquez. Sophie Michelle Velichkov. Eva Esperanza Venegas. Carter Michael Vieira. Michael Angel Vigil. Mercedes Araceli Vilchis Garcia. Kevin Biasana Adame. Robert Jacob Vinson. Geneva Vu. Nancy Vu. Isabel Kate Warner. Sierra Lane Weatherly. Patrick Wade Warner. Garrett Jason Wilkins. Armani Anthony Williams. Catherine Elizabeth Williams. Alexia Hope Williamson. Haley Brooke Willis. Detron Wilson. Leah Maya MJ Wilson. Emily Hannah Wood. Mariah Jewel Ruck. McKenna Ann Wolf. Mariam Mary Mikhail Yunan. Mays Galal Yusuf. Angel Jesse Zavala. Rodrigo Sermeno Gomez. Bellini Jing Zhang. Edna Zurich. Our Peggy Payne Academy Valedictorian was active in Science Olympiad, National Honor Society, Peggy Payne Academy Senate, and she will be attending the University of Michigan in the fall. Welcome, Bellany Jong. Hello, families, teachers, and McClintock Class of 2020. I'm extremely honored to be here delivering the closing remarks of this ceremony. We are the class that has the coolest graduating year, which boasts 2020 vision yet none of us could have foreseen this outcome. Everything around us has shut down, and we can't even have a normal graduation ceremony to celebrate the culmination of 12 years of hard work. We will never get to do the paper toss, attend senior prom, or participate in the bittersweet end of the year yearbook signing frenzy ever again. Despite this, I believe it's important to not put our own lives on pause just because the world around us is at a standstill. At the very least, we can appreciate one of the beautiful outcomes of this whole ordeal, which is that we are strong enough to come together to support each other during these difficult times. We have proven that we, the class of 2020, are resilient, resourceful, and adaptable to change. And losing those senior events did not cause us to lose our spirits. I want to now take this opportunity to thank the teachers, administration, family, and friends who worked tirelessly to guide us through these significant years in our lives. Even after in-person classes were canceled, the teachers and administration never failed to check in on us to make sure we were okay. Thank you, teachers, for putting material together every day for us and going the extra mile to hold fun traditions like turkey bowling, pie day, and making s'mores in the chemistry lab. It truly means a lot to us because in 10 or 20 years in the future, when we may forget how to solve a differential equation, we will fondly look back at those memories. Class of 2020, today is our day. We have successfully made it through these tumultuous past four years, which included Red for Ed school cancellations, Mac Labs, the installation of the school gates, and now this pandemic. We may not be able to physically hug and cry on each other's shoulders as we celebrate this special day together, but we will always have the friendships and memories we accumulated over the years that COVID-19 can never take away from us. I believe that all of us are going to do wonderful things in the next steps of our lives, whether that means going to college, enlisting in the military, or starting a career. Thank you for being an amazing class. I loved spending these four years with you all. Congratulations, class of 2020, and remember, once a charger, always a charger. Thank you. Well, Charger seniors, please be sure to thank your family, 
teachers, and any McClintock staff that has played a positive role in your life. It is now my pleasure to direct you to move your tassel to the left. You made it. You graduated. Thank you and have a safe, enjoyable graduation night.